I got a quote from a roofer for $1,500 to replace this worn out attic fan. And I thought, I can fix that. Today, I decided to get up in my attic when it's like 107 degrees in the middle of the day. At least it's not July or August because my attic fan is not working. I'm gonna show you guys what we're looking at right now. I know that power is going to this thermostat and it seems to be working in some ways, but it's not transferring power up there to my powered attic fan. It's making my air conditioner work too hard. So I'm gonna see if I can switch this around and get it to work again and bypass the thermostat. Fingers crossed. All right, I got it rewired to bypass the thermostat. Should be running right to this, so we'll see if it's the thermostat or the fan. Fingers crossed. Well, crap. It's the fan. Dang it. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Gonna replace the fan now. So I grabbed the model number off the fan housing, off the motor, and was able to find a replacement really quickly on Amazon. Next day. All right, next step in the uh, fan replacement for our attic, I have removed the fan blade. I mean, it's a pretty simple basic item here. It is held on by use of this little set screw. It just takes a little Allen key. And you can see that tightens on there. This has a flat spot right on the one side there. So I just had to loosen that up, get it off. It took a little WD-40 to get it turning again. And, ta-da, our brand new fan motor. $60 on Amazon, very easy. It's got a little bit different cord, not quite as heavy duty as what we had here with the armored cable, but it's in an attic and it should do just fine, but that's an exact match. So we are ready to go install this, put the new fan blade on there and see how it goes. So I am just going to drop that on there. And then it was positioned up just about right there you can see just so that's sticking out the top there and i'll set that set screw i'll be good to go all right you can see the flat part is right there we've got that set screw in there you can tighten it just a little bit more now we're ready to go put this back in the attic see i've got enough space between the fan motor and the fan blade that this can spin freely and not hit things I'm talking about. All right, new fan is in there. Gotta make sure we're not scraping anything. Everything's lined up the way it should be. We're gonna wire this back up, tighten down these three lock nuts, and we'll be ready. So here is the thermostat. This is the thermo disc. There's settings on there for 120, 90, 60 degrees, anywhere in between there. So that is where the power comes in to there and runs up to the fan. So that is what we are going to have to wire properly. And then you can see it's got a little dial right here that you can turn depending on the temperature setting that you want your fan to turn on with. So Lomenco was very kind to send this wiring diagram in. So I've got my, over here, this is going to the motor, so the power goes in, we're just connecting white to white, and it moves right through. Then you've got these, you have a test switch on here, so you've got three blacks together from the power source, it goes through here, which is the switch that works as the thermostat, basically, and then continues through here to connect to the motor. So that's what we're going to um, wire this up to work like that. So if you need that diagram, there you have it right there. All right, we're all wired up. You can see those three not lock nuts are on. Let's go flip the switch. Moment of truth. Ha ha! We have power, ventilation. This attic will be much cooler now. Rock and roll. Now that the mechanics of the fan were working again, it was time to pay attention to its curb appeal. The outside of this thing looked rough 
and I knew it needed something, but it wasn't in the budget to completely replace the mushroom cap here, so that's where the help of my friends from Krylon came in. I wiped it down with a damp cloth to get all the dirt and crud off of it, and then it was time for a fresh coat of paint. For this, I was using Krylon's Fusion All-in-One Spray Paint. It's extremely durable, and it can hold up to the high heat this thing's gonna take on the roof. Krylon's products have always worked great for me, and I was thrilled to have them as a sponsor for this video. I'm always amazed at what you can figure out how to fix if you'll simply try. I was able to save like $1,440 instead of paying a professional to do this. And I didn't have to change out everything, just the motor was the part that had gone bad. Hopefully your attic fan is similar to this and you can follow some of these steps and get yours replaced too and save yourself a ton of money just by doing it yourself. If you like that idea, that's what this channel is all about. Hit the subscribe button and check out some of these other great videos to help you do it yourself and do it better.